I don't know how that was. It was probably not too good. I, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Labor Day weekend is coming up, and maybe you're looking to take your family on an adventure. You don't have to go far. Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge in Eureka Springs offers a one-of-a-kind experience, and we had the chance to check out all the fun for ourselves. Take a look. Well, we're going on a field trip. Things are getting wild on Good Day at WA today. We're at Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge. We're here with Emily. Hey, Emily. Hey, guys. How are you? Thanks for coming out. Oh, thanks for having us. Love yeah. your masks. Oh, thank you. Too. Yes. <laughs> so, Emily, of course, it's a warm day today. What are the animals doing today? Sleeping. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're cats, typical cats. So they sleep most of the day anyway. The best time to come out here is early in the morning in this in this heat. Um, but fall is around the corner, I hope, and we should have some great temps. And the, the cats are a lot more active, you know, as we get into the cooler temps. But right now, first thing in the morning, you'll see them up and about. Yeah, absolutely. And let's talk about behind us. We can see that there's a pool behind us. Who lives here? And that is a very, very spoiled grizzly bear. <laughs> um, we he's rescued, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, he's a lot of people's, but he's a ham. He uh, was rescued quite a few years ago, lived in, in a, you know, when we got to the, the rescue, he was in a, in a barn, um, in, a, in a very cubicle cage indoors. And so he, you know, everything was very new for him. And we were able to build him this habitat. He's got the best feature here, this pool, waterfall. Yes. And um, he loves to come out and show off for all the people. And you're, and today he's not. <laughs> too hot. It is, it is. So your job is the animal curator, right? So yeah. you're responsible for people like the bear and giving him living conditions and, and yeah. also kind of rotating where people are living. Tell us exactly what you do here. In yeah, a little bit of everything. Um, so kind of in charge of all the animal care, whether it's, you know, um, feeding changes for their diets, different things like that, but also moving them around. You know, are they happy in the space that they're at? What, what else can we can provide them, you know, to give them a best, their best life, their best home? Um, or moving animals around to different enclosures if we get a call on a rescue. Recently, you know, this past year, we've had quite a quite a couple big rescues, so. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about this particular habitat, some things that you put in place. What's the bear's name that lives here? Bam Bam. Bam Bam! bam. bam. Yeah. What are some things in place that you guys have put here for Bam Bam to be nice and comfortable? Well, definitely the pool and the water feature. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he is a grizzly bear. Um, they wouldn't be this far south in the wild. So, you know, definitely wants the water in the, in the summertime. And we made him some structures to climb on. Um, also provide him some shade in here. And he's got a ton of toys. Uh, a lot of toys that have different holes in them that we can hide, uh, fruits and veggies. And then we scatter feed him throughout this enclosure too. Um, that way he can move around and, you know, be looking for his fruit every morning. So when people think Turpentine Creek, I associate tigers, right? right? But you have so much more than tigers here. What types of animals and, and Talk about the variety of different wildlife you have here. Yeah, well sadly, all these animals are rescued um, from a lot of different situations, whether it was somebody trying to own one as a pet or a roadside zoo that we're seeing a lot of now, closing down, thank gosh. Uh, but we have everything from brown bears, black bears, African servals, mm -hmm. leopards. Recently, we just rescued our first jaguar. Wow. Um, and so, uh, lions, tigers, we have lyligers, Thai ligers, which are a, a mix of a lion and tiger, so um, quite a, quite a few predator animals here, mm -hmm. bobcats. Now, Emily, of course we have some kiddos watching who, of course, love animals. Talk a little bit about how you became a curator. All right, well, yeah, ever since I was a, a young girl, I wanted to, when I grew up, I wanted to work with tigers. That was just, you know, what I would tell my parents. And um, so I went to school, uh, finished up through high school, and went to college, got my zoology degree. Okay. Um, and a lot of uh, universities offer these type of animal degrees, biology, zoology, multiple things you can choose from. And uh, got this internship, and I've been here 22 years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's yeah. great. And talking yeah. about families coming to visit you, when are you open? What are your hours? And you already mentioned the best time to come is the mornings, but fill yeah. us in on all those details. So we're open every day, except Christmas Day. Uh, the first guided tour goes out at 9 a.m. Right before that tour, we do have a behavioral management training program going on. Uh, so you can see a few of the tigers being trained um, for different uh, behaviors, sit, stand. A lot of them will present their side. That happens right before the 9 a.m. tour every day. And the morning is the best time. But we do give guided tours every hour on our tram. Um, it goes around a half a mile loop, and so you get to hear all the animal stories, why we're here, why sanctuaries are important right now. Um, so it's very educational. The last guided tour goes out at four, and we close at five. Awesome. Now speaking of educational, Emily, you were teaching us how to 
chuff, do some chuffing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a tiger, they're obviously everybody associates big cats with growling, but a tiger does have a friendly greeting, and it's called a chuff, and it goes like this. Okay, yours is bad. Hers is pretty good. Oh, okay, good. I feel like I'm purring a little bit. Do it for us. Do it for us. All right. Good, that's okay. Take some practice. And here at Turpentine Creek, you can learn the stories, you can mm -hmm. meet the cats, you can hang out with great folks like Emily, the curator. It's all happening at Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge. And stay with us. We got more Good Day in WA coming up right after this. <laughs> We're still Not trying to work good. on Chuffy, but we had a great time at Turpentine Creek. And can't wait to show you more from our trip.